day. I am bringing you all an easy eyeshadow beginner look with Stephanie and y'all. I have been myself and this is popping y'all. And I will be showing you all this new trick tip that I learned from TikTok, y'all. Cause period, my highlight popping. Yes. Yes, so I'm gonna be showing you all all of that in this tutorial. I hope you does enjoy this as much as I did making it y'all so we can go ahead and get into it and by the way y'all I did get my nails these yes it's been a while since I had my nails done because I work so much and I'm on vacation and I'm just enjoying life y'all I have been enjoying every moment I have been enjoying every moment y'all every day like no lie every day I just been enjoying it and I will be updating y'all with my channel more. And I will be consistent more and bringing more videos. Because I haven't been consistent lately. Y'all, I be being really like a whole lot. So, yeah. And I just want to tell you dogs that I love you so much for supporting me. Everything. All of that, y'all. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Well, subscribe to my channel. Because we. And, yeah. I'm gonna just go ahead and jump into the video because I don't want to do too much talking. You know what I'm saying? Some people get bored with all this talking stuff. So I'm just going ahead and jump into this content. I hope y'all like it, share it, and all that. Most definitely comment below on this video. Let me know what y'all want to see. And yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all doing later though. going in with this wipe and just cleaning my skin y'all just making sure everything is clean and ready for this beat this way so yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and just clean my face y'all so you want to make sure you do that first most definitely clean your face because baby we can't have no oily skin none of that running in our makeup we don't want none of that running period we want to we want to beat clean beats Going in, y'all, with my Wet and Wild Brow Pencil, and this is the shade Dark Brown, and I will be taking this, y'all, just outlining and going ahead and drawing, filling my brows in, so you will see me doing that.
back in with my concealer and just taking that and going back up under my brow just to give it that more popping look you know so that is a tip as well y'all when i do my concealer one time i do it just to clean it up and then i go back over it again just to make sure it's just popping Parsley, and this is the lighter shade. It is an LA concealer, and I will be taking this, y'all, and just to uh, prime my eyelid to get my eyelid ready for this bright color fall eyeshadow. You know what I'm saying? So, we got to make sure our eyeshadow is popping. Always make sure that you go with a lighter, lightest concealer that you can to make sure it's especially like when you're using colors, you want to make sure that your colors come out pigmented you know so even though if your palette is pigmented you want to still make sure that you use like a lighter color of concealer oh my god y'all it's been so long since i used this palette oh my god this is my favorite palette y'all so i will be going in with this gold it's like a bronze I will be going in with that, y'all. And this is the new tip. I seen this on TikTok, baby. Y'all. So, I seen this on TikTok. And what you do is you take the bronze and you put it, like, up under your brow, like, you know, so you can have, like, that highlight popping. Even though we already got our highlight popping with our concealer, we're going to go in with this bronze and just put it up on our brow. And we're going to blend all that out with our shadow and everything gonna fall in place baby so keep watching keep watching so y'all can see the whole point of me doing this point at the brown the it's darker it's a darker shade of a brown but y'all when i made up my mind and the look that i really wanted to go for i said uh-uh hold up okay so i'm gonna go in with this lighter shade of brown y'all and it is called i think it's rusty rusty, rusty i don't know but i'm gonna be going in with that y'all taking that shade and going ahead i'm gonna put that in my crease y'all and just blend that in with my eyeshadow
can see the whole point of me doing the bronze tilt, the tree, whatnot. Y'all, everything is blended so good. If we want to, we can just wear it like this and just call it a day. Because we still beat, we still, what? Yeah, so, y'all, it's pretty much given. taking this makeup cleaner and just going ahead getting my um cut crease and everything ready i'm finna go ahead and take my wipe and just clean everything up y'all also y'all i seen this tilt where i think you can like you take you get your brush and you take the vaseline and you can cut your crease like i think i seen i want to say beats by deb beats by deb i think and it was somebody else on tiktok i seen do that trick so i think i'm actually gonna start cutting my crease like that y'all just to see how is how it go how it work whatnot not you know what i'm saying also below comment you know what i'm saying let me know what tips and tricks you all know also what's what works good for y'all like cutting creases with well, because i'm also learning to this orange out of this i did get this palette from the beauty supply store y'all so i will be taking this orange and since it's fall halloween why not and plus my my nails are orange so why not so y'all i decided to do a basic eyeshadow beginner tutorial so it's gonna be something easy not too much you know what i'm saying something you just starting off you wanna look you know what i'm saying just be just be so yeah, we're going to go ahead and cut this crease. I am taking my next white base. This is because, you know what I'm saying, when you're using a brighter color, you always want to go with a bright, like a white, anything that is colorful, pink, yellow, anything like that, you always want to use a white base because it's going to bring the colors out more and it's also going to make sure that your colors are popping. Period. Period. So... Go ahead, cut this crease. applying eyeshadow what you want to do is take your brush dip it into your palette the color that you're going to be using and to get the desired look that you want you're just going to keep packing that color until you got it your to your pigmentation that you like you know what i'm saying some people like light some people like that color more vibrant than others so it's just it all depends on what you want so you keep dabbing and keep dabbing into that palette until you got it to your liking blending brush that we use to blend everything i cut crease a crease out 
we're gonna take that and just blend that other brown shadow into our orange shadow and we're just gonna blend blend until everything is blended well together I wet and wild my favorites my favorite if y'all know oh my god this is my favorite this is the only like the only liner i use like but i think i'm gonna have to start trying other liners you know what i'm saying if y'all know any other liners like that is mad you know what i'm saying that quickly dries like when, once you put it on anything y'all know comment below also and let me know any line of black eyeliners anything you know what i'm saying comment below and y'all tip to doing a wing liner is you always want to start like in the corner of your eyes and you just want to bring that line up going up and you can't do this slow you don't have to do it fast y'all just do it slow take your time then you're just gonna bring that outer part in and you just want to bring it in slow and just shade it in take your time as well and y'all like the front parts i always go like above like i want to say like an inch a inch and a half above my eyes because i don't like when my eyes run like water and the eyeliner start to like drip and runs down and, to, and mess up my makeup so that's a no for me i always go like above like an inch and you will see me doing this like right here like an inch above and I just take that and just bling, bring that and blend that in as well with the other part of the wing liner. And yeah, you have your wing liner. I decided to go in with this bronze y'all as well and take that and put it like for like a shimmer you know like in the corner of my eye these lashes were given to me by my friend my friend y'all oh my god i love her so much christine yes you these y'all these lashes turned out so freaking good i just love 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 I love the way they look. I just love how they brought the look out of everything. And y'all see everything in the end, how all of it came together, y'all. Oh my God, they are so fucking bomb. Bomb as fuck. have been doing this as well like once i'm done with my makeup everything i take this like i think it's like a paintbrush i had got at walmart y'all and i take this and just go up under my brow just to give that like the front part of that you know what i'm saying just to make it more popping if we want to say call it that it'll just make my brow pop more in the front because we already have we already have the back of the brown popping with the brown so we of course we gotta go back in with that concealer and just bring everything out and then with my bake about to set my brows y'all y'all i tried this wink thing no it, it, it's not giving it's y'all it's just not not working for me me and my friend was messing around and we're trying you know what I'm saying just we had our own little thing i can't even go into details all of that but y'all it, it wasn't working for me so yeah but i'm gonna go ahead and set my brows y'all so my eyes don't my brows don't get oily or whatnot because y'all i find that like when i set set my brows now with my setting brow it's just 
make my brows matte and like they don't move it, i can go 24 hours a day no lie my brows still haven't moved they're still in place like what better way my air spoon y'all my glow for go i think it's glow for go some shit like that well y'all this is a good ass bronzer too it just makes my face like giving so much so fucking much so yeah get into it get into it
my baby dolls this is the finishing look for this beginner eyeshadow level and i hope you all learned something i hope you took these tips in as well i hope y'all drop me some tip below also comment below share this like subscribe and if you're already a doll much love thanks for all the support love y'all catch y'all next time